Hey ladies, welcome back to another BGM Girl Hair Wig install. We haven't flexed a BGM Girl Hair Wig in quite a minute, so I'm excited about this one. And I have your favorite type of texture, Kinky Straight. So today I'll be showing you guys their 9x6 HD Lace Closure. This is a wear and go wig, therefore the lace is pre-plucked, is pre-cut, and it does come pre-bleached with the tiny knots as well. And yes, she is 100% glueless. I have this beautiful Kinky Straight texture. This wig is 22 inches and in 180% density. So because this wig comes Comes ready for you this is definitely going to be considered a beginner friendly type of wig install the install in itself is super quick and easy and as far as the styling it's completely up to you it's kinky straight so you can literally wear it as it is or you could kind of switch it up a little bit it's completely up to you so as always I'm giving you guys a quick unboxing BGM girl likes to send a lot of gifts so definitely be on the lookout for that now here is the hair once again it is a beautiful kinky straight texture I love the fullness of the hair I loved how flowy and how soft off she was once again this is a lace closure however it is a 9 by 6 HD lace closure you guys therefore it looks very natural and it does give you a lot of lace room this wig also has a c-shaped ear design that makes it comfortable around your ears of course it comes with the adjustable strap and the 10 tooth comb as well for a nice glueless and secure wig install so as always we're not going to install this wig without adding some foundation adding the foundation on the lace is crucial because it allows the lace to match your skin color as best as possible then we're just going to go ahead and throw the wig on if you need to tighten that adjustable strap to make sure that the wig is a lot more tighter make sure you do that okay the first thing that I like to do is get all of the unnecessary hair away from the lace that way I have a clean space to work with and see if I need to add spray baby hairs just kind of see where I need to go with it So I decided to give myself some baby hairs because I'm sure you guys can see on camera that the ends of the lace closure look pretty noticeable and even though we're going to add some more foundation I just don't think that that would be enough. What I would like is for BGM girl to make the lace just a little bit thinner. I think if the lace was a little bit thinner then we won't have this issue but I went ahead and I made my sections to go ahead and give me some light baby hairs just to kind of help out with that and then we're going to add some more foundation on the lace to help her blend in. Okay, so this is what the lace is looking like now. And in my personal opinion, based on my preference, I feel like she's looking a little bit better versus how she was looking when we first put the wig on. So I'm gonna go ahead and move forward. We are sticking with the middle part today. So I'm using my wax stick and my hot comb just to make sure everything is looking nice and neat. And I also wanna make sure that the top of the wig is laying very flat. Now it's time to move on to the styling. Now with Kinky Straight Textures, if you want to leave this as is, you actually can. It's a really nice texture, but those ends were just a little too stringy for me. So I wanted to do something about that. And I also wanted to straighten the hair to kind of give myself a silk press. So I added some layers and I straightened the hair. And as you can see, I did one side off camera and I'm gonna give you guys a comparison with the side that I just did versus the side that's not done. So 
So as you guys can see, there's a big difference, okay? Obviously, it's based on your preference. So if you don't want to do all that, then you don't have to. But I like the way that it came out. So I went ahead and I gave myself some layers and I worked in sections. And you guys can kind of see how I'm giving myself some layers right here on camera. It's a lot easier to watch versus me explaining it. So if you have to rewind the video a little bit, make sure you go ahead and do so. I'm kind of used to it by now because I've been doing it for so long. But if you don't trust yourself with the scissors, there are these like razor combs that you can get from your beauty supply store that literally help you get layers the easiest way possible but anyways after I finished with the layers I went and used my flat iron to straighten the hair now my flat iron is on 450 degrees which is the highest temperature that it goes to and I decided to give myself some bumps on the end as well just to kind of dazzle it up a little bit So I'm basically done, I'm just touching up some areas, but I wanted to talk to you guys about the shedding quality, tangling quality, did I have either? No. The shedding was very minimal, like on a scale of minimal average and maximum, it was more so on the minimal side. I did not have any issues with tangling, which is great, no issues with smell, that lace was pretty good. The hair quality I loved the most because it was so flowy, it was so soft, the density of it was actually really nice and I feel like the layers that I cut into it definitely helped to bring out that density even more. Like it kind of just made it look even more fuller. And just like that, we are completely finished with the install, styling, review, etc. If you have any questions about anything that I did not cover in this wig install, please feel free to go ahead and leave a comment. I respond to comments all of the time and I'll be happy to answer your question. Otherwise, the direct link to this wig will be listed in my description box as always. Make sure you guys comment down below and let me know what you think about the final style. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you learned something and I will see you guys next time.